Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jesse here with JO's Comics, and this is the last new comic book haul. Actually, it's the last video I'm going to make for 2016, so I wanted to show you the books that I got for this new comic book day. I believe it was the 28th of December, so it's uh, the last haul, really, for, for the year. So um, I didn't get too many books, so I'm going to show you these, but we're also going to go over a couple of the books that I'm looking for for 2017, so I got my, um, my want list here. And I was saying I was really only going to look for two books, but, you know, everybody's doing the top ten thing, so I figured I'd put together uh, ten books on the list, so we'll, we'll take a look at those, but, um, cheat a little bit on the list, but we'll get to that in a second. Um, okay, so, first book here is Invincible Iron Man, this is number two, and it's the, it's a variant, it's the XCI variant, and it's a cover swipe, as you can see, they put it here, for Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur, number one. Um, I'm not collecting the book, really, but why did I get it? Um, because I'm a fan of magic, so, saw this and said, hey, gotta get that, so I did, actually my shop didn't have this, so I had to, um, order it, actually, it was from the Cargo Hold, ordered it online from them, for cover, um, so there's that, alright, next up is Justice League versus Suicide Squad number two of six, um, it's been pretty decent so far, and, um, you know, it, it it would be hard to make uh, Justice League and the Suicide Squad um, battle each other and have it be um, even in terms of uh, their abilities and power and have it be fair. But the way they've set it up, it, it's been interesting, the way they've done it. So um, it's been pretty decent so far. Um, I got a couple of the uh, variants for issue number one, uh, but I'm going to save those for the first haul, I guess, of uh, next year. So you'll see those uh, probably next week, um, the books that I got for issue number one. Um, it's been pretty pretty decent so far. Um, I like it. Um, the other event that um, I don't really like, <laughs> really, uh, and I haven't, um, is Dark Knight 3. Um, that's up to, I think, book seven now. Really did not enjoy it at all. It's really... Uh, I don't know what um, Frank Miller's doing there um, with Azarello and that whole team, but it's just a mess, and everybody has said it, and I agree. It's just really a money grab. Um, I don't know what happened with the last issue, like where's Superman taking him, Batman that is, and uh, I don't know. It's just a confusing book, maybe because it's been so drawn out. Seven issues taken a year, and they're not done yet, I don't think. Um, so yeah. So there's that. Uh, the other book that I read that I did not like was the Supergirl being super. Um, that prestige format first issue that came out. I didn't, it just wasn't for me. You know, it's different. It's take, you get to see Cara Danvers in school or whatever, but that's just not something that I'm interested personally in reading about. So, um, yeah, didn't enjoy that too much. Um, Thunderbolts this is issue number eight. Um, Kind of on the fence about whether I'm going to keep this um, going on my pull list, um, but I do enjoy the book. It's just fun action. They got a lot of cool people involved. I like Kopik and um, you know the whole thing with Winter Soldier and stuff. Um, pretty good arc. Um, I know I this is one of my favorites uh, from the relaunch when it came out, uh, just because it really kind of got me back to the whole like '90s fun stuff that I used to read and remember. So. Maybe I'll keep it just because of that, but, um, I don't know. It's not like it's a bad book. I'm just looking for some books to cut from my list, so I just thought maybe this might be one of them. Um, alright, so this was a, um, <laughs> interesting book. Dave Johnson cover here. Um, Spider-Man Deadpool, number 12. It's like the holiday issue. And, um... Couldn't find it. Anyways. Oh, wait. Yeah, Dave Johnson. I was right. Just want to make sure I was saying the right name. Um, so, basically, they're going after a uh, evil um, precursor to Santa Claus in this issue. And his name is Saturna. There he is. That's the evil... The evil Santa Claus from folklore, from ancient Greek religion... And, um, it's funny. Um, it's a fun book, you know, just straight up fun. It wasn't like, 
I don't know, kind of a one-off story too, like a holiday special is what it is. Um, kind of like a standalone story. And uh, they had a couple funny um, things in here that were kind of like biting on uh, on DC. They said a couple funny things. Oh, uh, there was a Zack Snyder joke, I remember. And something else, I can't find them. But anyways, that's a fun book. I like this book. I'm definitely keeping it. It's a different team than it was when it started. Um, but it's fun. I thought they should them. All right. Another really good book, uh, probably arguably the best of the uh, Rebirth line, is uh, Detective. This is issue 947. Great story, great things happening, some things with spoiler, with the victim syndicate, and, um, you know, all these people. So it's just been a really good, solid story. Um, Tynan's been uh, banging it out great with the story arc and then uh, the rest of the team. Fantastic art, and then some of them, the places in here. It's like a, a painted style almost on the side, which I really, really like. Um, let me see if I can find one really quick. Probably not, because I couldn't find anything else I was looking for. Nope. Anyways, good story. Alright, this one. Probably is a little black book, number five. Um, it's obviously a swipe, an homage to Neil Adams' Superman versus Muhammad Ali. This is a, a tribute uh, issue to that um, deal to Muhammad Ali. Um, and it actually says it in here. Do, do, do. Right there. It says, if it will focus, because I can't. Okay, it says dedicated. There we go. Dedicated to the memory of the greatest. Okay? Greatest being Muhammad Ali. So. Interesting how they do it. The aliens come, want to pit, pitch them against each other, depower Superman, make the fight, yada, yada, yada. Good story. Um, Neil Adams, um, it wasn't him originally who was penned for this project, um, but he ended up finishing it, um, did a little lightboard action, changed out some of the faces. You can see um, the Obamas, some other people down here. There's some celebrities and stuff in the crowd so it's fun to try to pick them out just like in the original cover it's fun to try to pick out who was there and I kind of thought maybe it would be a wraparound cover but it's not all right so this one here is seven to eternity issue number four this is obviously Rick Remender or Jerome Lopena uh, for image and it's just a really really solid um, science fiction story you know fantasy sci-fi more fantasy I guess um, which is something that is kind of lacking these days, in my opinion, in the industry. So, there we go. Really, really good. I'm um, loving it. Um, and then we're going to get to my list for 2017. There it is. Ba-boom! Right, let's zoom it in a little bit. Okay, so we got Amazing Spider-Man 300. That's the top of the list. Book that I don't have. Number two is Thor 337. Number three, the 2009 volume for Power Girl. The first couple issues are Adam Hughes. Um, and then there's some that are uh, Gillum March, who did, uh, like, you can see there, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I definitely want to pick those up. I um, really like March's style. He did a lot with Gotham City Sirens. And he did um, uh, Harley. A couple other things. that I, I really like his, his artwork. So um, he's one that I kind of learned about in 2016. Um, before all the hype with the Gotham City Sirens movie, it was actually um, when he did the Harley Quinn cover that ties to Gotham City Sirens number five. That's when I kind of first came onto my radar. Um, so those are some books I want to pick up. Next we have um, number four, uh, 1999 volume for Tomb Raider. Um, this is the Adam Hughes run. It was 32 through 50. So I'm looking to pick up those. Number five, Giant Size X-Men number one. Everybody knows about that book. Uh, and then we have six, Spider-Man number 607. That's a J. Scott Campbell cover. I really like my cover art. I'm the cover art collector as much as a story collector. So a lot of these have really, in my opinion, beautiful artwork on the cover. Uh, G.I. Joe number 218. Um, that's actually an art germ cover for the Baroness. So that's what I'm looking for for that one. Um, the next one is Uncanny X-Men number 20. Uh, it's an Adi Granoff uh, variant cover with magic. 
definitely need that. Well, need, want. Um, number nine, Superman Gen 13, number 2B. I recently, well, I got 1B, I'll show that in the same haul that I'll show the other variants. So I want 2B. It's a three part mini. Um, J. Scott Campbell did the cover B's, and it was, um, I can't remember who for the cover A's. Oh boy, the name escapes me. Anyways, number 10, Baby's First Deadpool book. It's a one-shot from 1998. It came out along with a couple other one-shots for Deadpool month back then. I told you guys about that in the past. So, um, I got 10 books, but um, a couple more than 10 because of these runs here. But definitely very attainable. Um, you know, good range of prices there that are within my range, so I'm happy with that. Um, not as many uh, silvers as last year, um, and a couple of these, like the Thor book, for example, are um, spillover from my 2016 list. Spidey as well, uh, and Giant Size, in 607. So, um, my, my list, what was left of my list from last year spilled over to this year, and I got the new stuff there. So, there you go. Um, that's it. Um, hope you guys all have a... A happy New Year, which is basically right now, tonight. Um, look forward to 2017 and all the good things coming up. Um, my show will not be the first month, but it'll, I mean the first week it'll be, I believe it's January 10th, that second Tuesday of January. That's when we're starting up again, so there you go. Um, leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you think of this list, what you're picking up, uh, what you want for 2017. Um, and I look forward to seeing all your videos coming up here. Uh, this is Jesse with JLS Comics. Happy New Year, and I'll see you next video.